The Volumes of Truth. Volume 3. I Am With You Always. January 5, 2007, from the Lord, our God and Saviour. The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy, for all those who have ears to hear. Regarding the Holy Spirit. Question asked by Timothy. Lord, can you help me better understand, John chapter 16, verses 13 to 15. Thus says the Lord to his servant. Timothy. Think not in earthly terms, nor consider by human means. Rather know and understand, that which I have poured out is spirit, and truth. For the spirit is not a person, as one separate. Rather it is a gift. A blessing. Received through the Messiah. For as it is written. Streams of life-giving water, will pour out from his side. Therefore, that which you receive is of God, and of Messiah. For the Father and the Son, are one. Thus the Comforter is of the Son, and the Father also. Thus says the Lord, your teacher. This is why I said, the Spirit shall not speak of itself, as one separate, but shall take of mine, and reveal it to you. For the fullness of the Father, dwells in the Son. And that, which is the Father's, is the Son's also. My Son, the Spirit and the Messiah, are completely one. Even as I and the Father, are one. For I tell you the truth. All the Father wills, is made manifest, through me. Thus the Spirit is given, so you may really know me. And receive strength to walk in my ways. For I am with you always. Even to the end of this age. And behold. There is a day coming quickly when you shall be changed. And no longer shall I dwell only in you, but you shall dwell also in me. Then shall you understand the fullness, of who I am. For as it is written, Now you see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now you know in part, but then you shall know, just as you are also known.